You know that a proper audio solution is the key to getting the most from your new TV, but sometimes the size and expense of a soundbar and subwoofer combo can make people maybe want to wait. I'm Aaron for Best Buy Canada's blog, and now there's a much more compact solution. The Polk Magnify Mini is a small home theater solution that can improve your TV's audio and provide a speaker for listening to music too. I recently received a loaner of the Magnify Mini for a few weeks of testing and review in my home, and this is what I found. The Polk Magnify Mini is an ultra-compact soundbar and wireless subwoofer combo with a remote control. It connects to your TV using an included HDMI cable and provides greatly improved audio from your TV. Most flat screen TV's internal speakers are too thin and basic to provide quality audio that can match the TV's video resolution, so this is a compact solution. While the included HDMI cable is nice, the kit actually comes with three connection options. There's that ARC HDMI cable, which you'll only use if your TV has a special ARC HDMI port in the back. ARC, by the way, stands for Audio Return Channel. Otherwise, you can use the optical audio cable, or if your TV is older like mine is, you can connect it with the AUX connector. Since my current setup already uses an aux cable, I opted to keep that connection. I connected the power and the aux cable, and then I plugged in the subwoofer. The manual says that the soundbar and the sub should just find each other and pair together all on their own, and thankfully that did happen for me, and I knew things were working because there's a green light on the back of the sub. Now, when I went to play something for my Apple TV here, however, there was no sound. So I fiddled around with the cables, checked the volume and the power, but no dice. I tried streaming some music from my phone just to see if the audio was actually working, and the streaming worked just fine, and we'll get to more on streaming in just a second, but I couldn't seem to get any sound from the TV. Perplexed, I called Polk's toll-free customer service line for help. It turns out there's a button on top, that circle with the little arrow on it, that switches the source into the soundbar, and you'll need to hit it a couple of times to swap between connecting via Bluetooth, aux, or the optical audio. No, it doesn't automatically find the output source for you. Couple clicks, and I had sound. My country has been overwhelming. The Magnify Mini is a 150-watt soundbar with two half-inch tweeters and four two-and-a-quarter-inch mid-range drivers. It's got a few other cool features, too. If you're the type that doesn't love fiddling with your settings, you'll love the preset audio settings available on the Magnify Mini. There's settings right here on the remote for things like music, sports, and movies. Now, I didn't notice a huge difference between the movie and the music settings in particular, and maybe they'd have a bit more bass to them, I'd say. The sports preset, though, definitely cranks up the higher end and the voices, and it is quite noticeable. I don't know how well this will reproduce, but take a listen to the different settings. It's very dear to me, actually. It serves as a reminder of a time long ago when the world was very different, less complicated, when good men banded together to fight for what was right. It motivates me to this day, but it brought me here to you. Polk promises crystal clear dialogue with its voice adjust technology. And this option basically lets you customize the voice levels to reproduce dialogue better. Thank you as always, darling. And I must say, the beard does give you a certain... I found that when watching some programs, this setting did definitely help the voices cut through better. It somehow enhances them and just makes them more noticeable over background scene noise. A neat feature in this soundbar is something called night mode. And this is a feature that's been cropping up in home theater audio more and more often. And that's because it solves a common home theater issue that many of us have. Night mode essentially lets you lower the bass level while increasing the voices and keeping the volume level consistent so you don't need to wake up the whole family or strain to hear your program if you're watching late at night. The Magnify Mini says it has surround sound capabilities that work to mimic the effects of a full surround sound system with just the soundbar. The effect is created using Polk's patented surround technology and 5.1 Dolby digital decoding. Polk says it creates incredible room-filling sound. So does it? I wouldn't say it made me think I was in a full home theater with surround sound. It is nice and full and it gets loud, but in terms of mimicking a true 5.1 system, no. Tell you what. Let's do some more digging. I should also point out the speaker sounds much better if you're sitting directly in front of it. If you're off to the side, the audio sounds more directional and narrower. Where right in front, you do get a wider soundscape. Yes, darling? I might have been wrong about the fear. The sound on this little bundle is insane. The soundbar is so compact, but it's really powerful and it sounds rich and full, 
just like a full-size soundbar. The bass is great too, thanks to that massive subwoofer. Dialogue comes through clearly and sounds accurate too. Overall, this soundbar subwoofer combo is great. Listening to music on the Magnify Mini is really nice as well. It sounds great and it can easily rival any speaker like a Sonos Play One or the Google Home Max. It sounds dynamite and the streaming process is easy and stutter free. If you want to stream, you can do it in two ways. One is to connect to Google Home and the other is to connect directly to your phone's Bluetooth so you can stream content directly from your phone. To connect your phone, head to your phone's Bluetooth settings menu and then just look for the Polk Magnify Mini. Mine popped up right away and I clicked to connect and I was able to stream music instantly. If you have trouble, you can activate the Bluetooth manually. There's a button on the back of the soundbar that'll do it. Now, when it comes to Google Home, I did have some trouble. The Google Home connection should allow me to talk to the speaker using my Google Home Smart Digital Assistant. I tried to connect it to the Magnify Mini and my first attempt saw the connection process get almost all the way, basically to the last step, before giving me a failure message and then all of a sudden it vanished from the app. I found I was unable to connect again. Google Home seemed unable to find the Magnify Mini after a series of attempts. I tried engaging the Bluetooth button on the back again and nothing. Uh, getting kind of frustrated, I gave up for the day. Came back to it again a couple days later and this time when I opened up the Google Home, there was the Magnify Mini. The Google Home app saw it immediately and it helped me get all connected. After that, it was easy to say, okay, Google, play music on Magnify Mini. Overall, there is plenty to love about the Polk Magnify Mini. The sound quality is outstanding, whether it's TV audio or music streaming. The compact size of the soundbar is nice and it's deceptively powerful. If there are any cons, it's that the shape of the soundbar might be one reason it wouldn't fit in your space. Though it's small, it is kind of bulbous. Plus, it can't be wall-mounted, so it needs a piece of furniture or a shelf to sit on, meaning if you've got a wall-mounted TV, as I do, it might not be the right option. The size of the wireless subwoofer is a bit off-putting. Given that the soundbar itself is so small and easily placed, it's much harder to find a place for the subwoofer that's out of the way. While the soundbar may be incognito, hiding in plain sight, the sub is kind of like a blimp in your living room by comparison. Overall, I did really like the Magnify Mini, but a couple of things to consider. You want it for just the right room. You either need a piece of furniture to put it on or a shelf if you've got a wall-mounted TV, and you should sit directly in front of it for the best sound. If you're sitting off to one side or the other, there's a noticeable difference. If you wanna pick one of these up, it retails for about 349 Canadian dollars from Best Buy. And if you wanna read more about it, there is a full blog on the Best Buy website at blog.bestbuy.ca. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it helps me keep making more videos that I hope you all can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Catch me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, I'm at Erin L. Y Y C.